JavaScript is a standard programming language that is used in a number of applications, including web pages. It is a very useful language to learn, especially as a first language, as many other more advanced languages are very similar. This tutorial uses Hippo Animator to demonstrate the basics of JavaScript. To help make the script easier to read, we have increased the interface size. In the movie properties, open the general script. We are going to start with the classic, hello world. For this, we'll need to use the alert function. A function is a block of script that can be called from other locations. Hippo Animator has lots of built-in functions. The alert function shows a message in a window. To call a function, simply type its name, alert. Function names in JavaScript are case sensitive. Add some brackets after the function name for any parameters, and always end every line of JavaScript with a semicolon. The alert function has one parameter, the message, in this case hello world. Text values should always start and end with double quotes. Once you have completed this line of JavaScript, press OK to close the script editor, and press play on the toolbar to test the movie. An alert window is shown with the message, Hello World. The alert function uses some text as a parameter. In JavaScript, text is called a string, which is short for a string of characters. The text, or string, is a small piece of data that can be stored in what's called a variable. Variables hold data and can then be used again and again in your script. They are called variables because their value can change. To create a new variable, use the var command. Give it a name, any name will do as long as it is unique. You can use letters and numbers, but the name cannot start with a number. If you like, you can give it an initial value, by setting the variable equal to something. In this case, the variable message is set to the hello world text, surrounded by double quotes. Finally, end the line with a semicolon. The string, hello world is now stored in the variable, message. Replace the text parameter in the alert function with the message variable, then test the movie. The alert shows the message variable, which is set to, hello world. Once you have created a variable, you can change its value. Set the variable name, message, equal to a new string. Goodbye, then end with a semicolon. The alert still shows the message variable, but this time the value of the variable has been changed. Let's try that again, this time set message equal to an empty string, which is just two double quotes. The alert has no text this time. Other types of data can be stored in variables, such as numbers. Change the name of the variable to A and set its initial value to 123. Set A as the message in the alert. The alert converts the number into text so it can be read, but internally, it is still stored and treated as a number. Another very useful data type is Boolean values, or true and false values. Try changing the variable name again, this time we used B1, and set the initial value to true. Put B1 in the alert function, and it shows true. We can change the value of B1, the only other value available, is false. You can set the value of one variable equal to the value of another variable. Create a new variable called variable A, and set its initial value to be 1. Place variable A in the alert function. The alert shows false, variable A was set to be 1, which was set to false. Try moving the creation of variable A above the line that changes B1. Now, notice that even though B1 is changed to false, 
the value of variable A isn't changed from its initial value of true. To save time, you can create lots of variables on the same line of script, just separate them by commas. You can use different names, different data types and set initial values if you like. Computers are excellent at mathematics. Create two new variables, a equal to 3, and b equal to 4. Create another new variable called c, equal to a plus b. Show the value of c using an alert function. The value of a plus b, should be 3 plus 4, which should be 7. Try a minus b, which should be minus 1. Try a times b, which should be 12. JavaScript uses an asterisk for times. Try a divided by b, which should be 3 quarters. JavaScript uses a forward slash for divide. You can add brackets to create complex mathematical equations. There are some shortcuts in JavaScript. A equals A plus B is the same as A plus equals B. The value of A will be 7. The same thing can be done with minus, times and divide. Another shortcut is plus plus. It means plus 1. Here, A equals A plus 1. Minus minus means. A equals A minus 1. At any point, you can simply set the variable to the value you want. Often, variables need to be compared, to see if they are the same, different, more or less. Create two new variables, A, and B. Set them both to, true. To test if two variables are both true, we use the AND comparison. In JavaScript, AND is represented by two ampersand symbols. If A and B are true, then C is true. We can compare more than two variables at once. Add a third variable, D. If A and B and D are true, then C is true. Try changing any of the variables to false. C will be false, if any of the variables are not true. Another comparison is, or. It is represented by two vertical bars. If either, A, or B, are true, then C, is true. At this point we'll mention, not. It is represented by an exclamation mark. This tells you if something is not true, or not false. Here, A is true, so, not A, is false. Up to now, a single equals character is used to set a variable. Two equals characters, are used to compare if one variable is equal to another. Is A, equal to, B? No, the result is false. Not equals, is represented by an exclamation mark and an equals. Is A, not equal, to B? Comparisons can also be made between numbers. Let's create a few number variables. Is A, not equal to, B? 
there are some comparisons that are just for numbers. Is A greater than B? Is A less than or equal to B? Brackets and algebra can be added. Is A times 2 greater than B? String variables only support the equal to and not equal to comparisons.